the city of Liverpool, famous for its music, football and friendly people. Known affectionately as Scousers, they can't wait to host Europeans attending the Eurovision Song Contest. I say the city is bouncing, to be honest with you. They're really looking forward to it. You can see everywhere you go, there's like, you know, signs of Eurovision, everyone's like, you know, pepped up for it and that, so it'll be good. Liverpool's the home of music. It really is the home from, from way back when, in the 50s, 60s, right up to now. That's going to bring a lot of money into the city. You know, um, the hotel business, the pub game, even the taxis. And, you know, it's, it's going to be brilliant for the city. For these two Ukrainian families, Liverpool is now home. Refugees whose country won the Eurovision Song Contest last year. I think it's quite fair because UK helped Ukraine a lot. Eurovision enthusiasts have already begun arriving to experience the build-up to what's expected to be the biggest Eurovision takeover a host city has ever staged. As some wait in line for their opportunity to potentially win tickets to the prized event. It's anticipated that Eurovision will inject 25 million pounds into the economy here on Merseyside and that beyond that there'll be a 5% increase in terms of the number of European tourists coming to this city every year. Inside the arena at Liverpool's famous Albert Dock, the set has been designed to the theme of togetherness, celebration and community. With the soundtrack to this year's event, written by Ukrainian composer Michael Nekrasov. We see that the whole city is in a Eurovision mode, totally. Uh, all the restaurants, all the bars, like, uh, you know, are totally living it. And we can't wait to experience more things uh, from the city as uh, the Eurovision unfolds. It's one of my dreams to be in England, and uh, it's really amazing that we are here in the city of music, in the city of everything happened in the past, and we're going to celebrate the Eurovision Song Contest here in the UK. A song contest which should be taking place in Ukraine, but Liverpool has stepped in as a substitute. And Scousers plan to do Ukrainians proud. Luke Hanrahan, Euronews, Liverpool.